The methods we've been using for finding greatest common factor and least common multiple can also be helpful in many types of word problems. So you have you're practicing um, five examples of this on the on the assignment tonight. And the practice we did in class should help. Your first step would be to first recognize that this is one of those type of problems and whether it's asking you to find a greatest common factor or least common multiple, depending on the wording of the problem, what it's asking you to do. Anytime something's happening over and over again, you're talking about multiples. And anytime something's being broken up into groups or divided into pieces or um, things like that, then you're talking about factors. So it's probably a GCF problem in that case. So let's read through this one. You're sorting three types of candy corn into groups. You have 60 pieces of chocolate candy corn, 72 candy corn pumpkins, and I'm gonna label these 60 here, 72 here, and 36 original candy corn. There can only be one type of candy corn in each group, and each group must have the same number of candy corn. What is the largest number of candy corn that can be in each group? As soon as they start talking about taking all these numbers of candy corn and grouping them, we're dividing them into, into groups. And I start thinking about factors. And as soon as I see this uh, question where it says the largest number of candy corn in each group, then that's the greatest common factor, the greatest factor shared by all three of these numbers. And then, you know, once we've got that all set up, we'll, we'll, we'll um, use the Venn diagram to interpret how to answer all of these questions. But first, let's find the GCF by using our Venn diagram model. 60 is 2 30s, 30 is 2 15s, and 15 is 3 5s. 72 is 2 36s, 36 is 2 18s, 18 is 2 9s, and 9 is 3 times 3. 36 is two 18s, and 18 is two nines, and nine is three times three. Making a triple Venn diagram for 60, 72, and 36. And keeping in mind something we talked about in class that for these word problems, it's, it's helpful to not only um, label the circles in your Venn diagram with the number, but also what they represent. So this 60 is the chocolate candy corn. The 72 is the pumpkin candy corn. And the 36 are the original types of candy corn. Um, they all share a common factor of two. So I'll put a two in the intersection of all three. They also all share another common factor, a prime factor of two, so another two. And is there a three? There is a three in each one also. So I'll also place a three in the intersection of all three. Uh, now 60 has a five, but none of the other ones have a five, so I'll put that in the 60 only section. I see that the 72 and 36 still have a common prime factor of three, so that will go in the intersection of 72 and 36 right here. And then the 72 needs one more two in the 72 only section. This is the point where I check my work and I'm gonna use the this is common to all three, so two times two is four, times three is um, 12. And so 12 times five, when I focus on this 60 circle, 12 times five is 60. If I focus on the 36, 12 multiplied by three is 36. And then outside of this 12, I have two times three in the 72 circle, and six 12s is 72. So it looks like everything's set up correctly. Um, and we, we, we already talked about we're finding the greatest common factor to solve this problem. So why don't you, during the pause, see if you remember how to use the Venn diagram to find the greatest common factor. And then use not only that greatest common factor, but also your Venn diagram to interpret the answers to these two questions. Do that during the pause and then come back and check your work. Paused. The greatest common factor is the product of the prime factors in the union of the Venn diagram. So in our Venn diagram, 2 times 2 times 3, which is 12. And so that's the largest number of candy corn that can be in each group. 12 candy corn per group. 
the answer to the first question. And then how many groups will you make? This question is a bit tougher, but we can still use the um, Venn diagram to answer this question because the 12 is right here. And so if I want to know how many groups of chocolate candy corn I can make where there are 12 pieces of candy in each group, it's just 12 times 5. 5 12 is 60. 5 12 is 60. So, so I have 5 groups of chocolate candy corn. For the original, 3 12 is 36. So 3 groups of original candy corn. And then for the pumpkin, 6 12 2 times 3 is 6. 6 12 is 72. So the number of groups would be 5 and 3 and 6. Or uh, 14, 14 groups total. So this is the answer to the first question, and this is the answer to the second question. I hope that helped with the assignment. I'll see you in the morning.